Hi, 3B families. Welcome to Meet the Teacher Night. My name is Mrs. Bruce. And before we get started, I'd like to take you on a little quick tour around our classroom so you can see where your child comes every day. So behind me, we have our sanitation station, our religion board, some math help, spelling for the week, and then our reading focus for the week. Turn in bins are here where your child will turn in homework, classwork, and any tests that they take. Um, over here is my desk, and then here are where your children sit. Desks are all three and a half feet apart, spaced out. Um, there are stars on the ground to help us keep our desks spaced out. Those have been wonderful this year. Um, some student work already hanging, and there will be plenty more to showcase later in the year. And then over here, on our board. Um, every morning when your child walks in, there will be morning work, important information, announcements, homework listed here on the board for them to reference. We have our homework over here that we will write down every night together, at least for the first couple of weeks. They've been doing a great job with that so far. Please check their planners. And then we have our talents board and our calendar. So. Lots of helpful information around the room as well that your child will soon discover and hopefully use as the year goes on. So now for Meet the Teacher PowerPoint with some information on it. Let me get to that. Here we go. So I will move through this pretty quickly and answer questions that you might have in emails at the end. A little bit about me. I was born and raised here in Cincinnati. I attended St. Mary and then St. Ursula Academy. I received my bachelor's from Miami University and my master's in reading from Xavier. Uh, I'm a reading specialist K-12 and I'm Morton Gillingham trained. I'll be integrating some of those techniques this school year, which is a multi-sensory approach to teaching, reading, writing, phonics, and spelling. I'm married to my husband, Mark, and we have two daughters, Elle, who is three, and Louise, who just turned one end of May. They keep me very, very busy. Some expectations. Mutual respect on both sides. Um, I will treat your child with kindness and respect, and I expect them to do the same to both me and their classmates and any other person they come in contact with here at school. Uh, all work is to be completed neatly and on time, and so far so good with that one. And the parent and the teacher will work together um, to benefit your child. We are the most important team that your child can have uh, working for them and with them. So keeping those lines of communication is essential. Homework. A parent letter was sent home the first nights of school. Please refer to that for more specific information on homework. But overall, generally, your child should be reading uh, at least 20 minutes each night, practicing their math facts, which right now is addition and subtraction, zero through 20. And then focusing on their spelling, completing their spelling menu, which is due on Thursdays. And then as needed, reviewing their story, spelling, math concepts, um, things that I've been in contact with you about or um, that your child seems to need more assistance with. So each week um, there will be a spelling pretest on Tuesdays, followed by um, a true spelling test on Fridays. Uh, there will be simple solutions quizzes on Thursdays and journeys reading tests on Fridays. All religion tests will be take home and open book. We will talk more about that when we get there. And then math, science, social studies, health, anything else, any chapter tests will be announced well in advance and study guides will be provided and completed together. Red Wednesday folders, this has already come home. Just to reiterate, please sign initial on the front of the folder and review the work inside. It might need to be corrected, it might not, um, but if it doesn't need to be corrected, please keep it at home. 
and any work that needs to be fixed, you can fix it with your child and send it back by Friday of that week. Um, additional things, we will be working through snack this year. So please provide something easy to eat, healthy, that your child can eat um, while we are reading or writing, doing some math um, that they are able to kind of multitask with. Accelerated reader, more information came home about this, but if your child needs some chapter books to borrow, they are welcome to take some from our classroom library. We will work that out. And any books that are returned um, after being read are quarantined for 72 hours over the weekend. So for this year, we're trying to get outside as much as possible. This is both for learning time and downtime playtime. We have two recess times this year. Once, one is before, before lunch at 11.50, and the second is at 2.10 in the afternoon, which provides a really nice break, just kind of in the end of the day, get those wiggles out um, at that time. So thank you to the parents who have been volunteering. We appreciate your help and kind of keeping this whole thing, this whole year in mind, staying flexible is the key. So we're all trying our best. And if you have any questions or concerns on anything, please don't hesitate to reach out uh, on that. Parent involvement, if you have any ideas on how to help, I want you to be involved. I just am not sure how to make that happen this year. So again, being flexible as we go through the year, I'm sure we will be told we are allowed to do more things um, than we have right now. So please keep me in mind. I'll keep you in mind. I want you to be involved. I just don't know how quite yet. So stay tuned. Email is the best way to communicate with me. Um, checking my class website and please notify the office and myself if your child will be absent, going home early, dismissing, or coming late, and they have a doctor's appointment, those types of things. It helps me plan and maybe not do something at that time or vice versa. So communication between us is essential this year, um, most of all. Mrs. Tina Bates is our third through fifth grade aide. Your child might be seeing her um, in the classroom from here from time to time. She will help read tests to students, uh, monitor at lunch, um, check assignments, step in if needed to cover the classroom, but she's wonderful. We really appreciate her hard work and she's here to help your child as well. If you need anything, um, she's just really great. We love Mrs. Bates. All right, so that is my Meet the Teacher video for this year. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out to me uh, via email or I'm happy to meet with you outside of school, after school, um, or on a Zoom just to answer any quick questions. Um, otherwise, hopefully at some point we're all able to be together back at school and I can answer questions then. Until then, just I look forward to a great year and I'm so excited to work with your kids and get to know them and get to know you and I'm here to help your child. So these are some last first day of school photos and it was a great first couple of days and I look forward to a wonderfully different school year. So thank you so much and I hope to meet all of you soon.